Raja dies. Do you know who was Raja? You are sitting in his academy. I did the diploma in counseling skills under Raja and Dr. Ali. Raja donated his, according to his will, donated his eyes so that two people can now see with his eyes. He donated his brain to Nin hands so that scientists can learn more about human mind. And he donated his body to the hospital for the students to learn about human body. That reminded me of an incident. Before I went to America, I used to live in one room in Bombay Central with my wife and three-year-old son. Somebody gifted me a small clay elephant that big. It was great, very smooth to the touch. What I liked, liked most about it was its head that bobbed up and down and side to side. It made it look almost alike. I wanted to put it away as a decoration when I have a bigger house. My three-year-old son Sunil took a fancy on it and started asking, Daddy, Daddy, I want to play with it. I said, no, this is for decoration, you play with your toys. He kept insisting, I refused. He called the higher authority. Mom, Dad's not giving me the toy. She came and asked, she said, why didn't you give it to him? It's only a toy. I said, no. They both started pestering me out of sheer frustration. I threw it at him, I said, take it. And it broke. For a moment, they were both stunned at my stupidity. And then Sunil could not stop crying. And my wife put me to shame. She said, you didn't want to give it to him. You thought he'd break it. Now see what you've done. We have never forgotten. None of us has forgotten that. I didn't want to make the same mistake again. So I have written my will in which I have given away all my property to the disabled children in association of people with disabilities. And all my money in India also for their benefit. I do not want this body of clay, once I'm dead, this lifeless body of clay, to be destroyed like I destroyed the elephant and did not let my son play with it for the joy of living. <coughs> I want this body, lifeless body of clay, to be of use for the living so that maybe somebody can see with my eyes, somebody can breathe with my lungs, somebody can use my kidneys, somebody can use my liver, somebody can use my skin. I will not be living in one body. I will be living through many people.